You have made one great find. It shows us all about the Authority's deadly plans. Trust me, this is a major blow to them, and a great day for our cause. Elizabeth had a good feeling about you. I may have to agree with her. But now it's time to say your goodbyes. Elizabeth has gone on ahead to make preparations for our arrival. Don't worry about the stuff in your garage. It'll be waiting for you. But we need to leave soon ourselves. The price on your head will only increase if you stay here. This place just isn't safe for you. We've deployed a communications scrambler which should help mask our exit. So if you're with us, then come back here when you wrap up any loose ends, and we'll leave together. So, you ready to leave? Excellent. Let's go. I'm glad you decided to join us. We're probably just days away from the Authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan? Well, welcome to the fire. Fighting the Authority is all I know. I've been doing it ever since my Ark emerged. And I saw what they were doing. Nothing like this was supposed to happen after the asteroid hit. For once, our government had a good plan and good people in place to make it happen. But General Cross changed the timing of only a few arcs. Arcs filled with his people. And that changed the course of humankind. Now, it's our job to make sure it isn't forever. There's Crescent City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right... All right, come this way. Our base is just through that door. Sard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. All right, people. A little introduction of our new guest. You know he's an ARC survivor. He's also pretty tough. Gets the job done. I know he'll fit in well. In short, trust him. You see that arc? All in pieces over there? It was the one I was buried in. But now Lassard uses it as the brains of our operation. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Captain Marshall was buried in that thing. But I've re-rigged the systems, and now I can track most authority movements and communicate with our people around the wasteland. Precisely. Elizabeth, you know. Good to see you again. And still in one piece. Actually, it's Dr. Cadence. And she's been getting closer to solving the riddle of the Authority's work with the mutants. Every little step brings me closer to the truth. And Jack Borkman, over there, he handles ordnance. If it shoots or explodes, he can help you with it. That's right, friend. It's like my birthday every day around here. Especially when my work helps take out some of the Authority bastards. And lastly, above us, keeping the lid tightly closed on our base of operations, is Saul. He runs the garage in town, and he's already got your stuff in a bay. You'll meet him when you go up. Okay, a couple things you need to know. Subway town above us? Well, it isn't Wellspring. They walk a fine line, keeping the Authority at bay and also dealing with us. You'll have to be careful there. 
the town's boss, Redstone. Be extra careful around him. He'd sell you out to the authority in a heartbeat unless you're of use to him. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get on Redstone's good side. See if he needs anything. Be of use to him. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. And then, you're useless to us. Think you'll be able to play his game? Good. And remember, get a feel for how things work around here. Be useful to them. Then we can start moving on to the serious stuff. Okay, it's clear for you to go up. So, you're the new team member. Well, welcome to Subway Town. I'm Saul. I run the garage here, but uh, more importantly, I'd drop that car lift if the authorities start snooping around. But first, um, a couple of things you need to know. Your garage bay is through that door. I'll do all your repairs here and tow you back if you ever get yourself in trouble. You can find the race manager downstairs and the bars on this level. And more importantly for you, Redstone's office is upstairs. Remember, nothing and no one moves around here without his okay. So, don't waste any time. Go and see him. You new in town? I guess I should say welcome. Subway Town's got everything you need. Looking for a race? Head downstairs. Got extra stuff to sell? Then see Janny upstairs. I think you'll like it here. I haven't seen Redstone yet, go. Hey, pal. Don't waste the boss's time, ghost. Hold it right there. You Marshal's new guy. Okay. You're new. That means that you don't exactly know how things work around here. So let me make it clear to you. This is my place. My town. And every bastard here answers to me. What I want, they do. So if you can help me do things, then we'll be fine. If not, then I have no use for you. Got that? So Marshall says you're the type that can get things done. Let's give you a little test, huh? My foreman is having mutant problems at the end of the Blue Line Tunnel. The things keep crawling back in. So go help him out. Think you can handle this? Good. Just prove yourself useful to me, and then I'll let you stay. Now, show me what you can do, and get the hell out of here. Haven't seen you before. A few words of advice. Don't mess with Redstone. And don't do anything to get the authorities' attention. That's trouble you don't want. Well, hello there, cutie. Please, tell me what I can do for you. Name's Janny. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little money. Helps me keep my head above water. I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so, what you looking for?
pleasure doing business with you. The boss called down, said to expect someone. You must be him. I got a big problem. Damn muties ripping through my work down here. They got this expansion operation just about shut down. My guess is they clawed their way into the Blue Line station. And now, they're busting out all over down here. Someone's gotta stop them. So, it looks like you're the guy for the job. I'm glad you understand. You can get into their cave up on the surface by the canyon wall. Head as deep as you can go, and look for the Blue Line station. Listen, work can't go on with these muties busting through all the time. Get to their cave and see if you can stop this problem. Feeling the need for speed? Haven't seen you before. Today. Welcome to Subway Town. Stranger, you looking to earn?
Hey you, looking for work? Redstone gave you a job. Stop wasting time. What are you doing? Get your butt down to see Jones. He's waiting for you. Not bad. You made the cave muty free and you're still alive. Guess Redstone picked the right guy for the job. I'll tell him what you've done. <laughs> you did a decent job. But banging up mutants ain't hard. But I know just the thing that would secure your place around here. Okay, so this is my town. But I still have to deal with the gearheads. They're not much more than a pack of wasteland bandits, but turns out they control all the electricity around here, and the price keeps going up. Get the picture? So I want to end their stranglehold on my town. Now, word on the street says they've combined feltrite with plutonium. If they've done that, and we can get our hands on it, that would solve our power problems for a long time. Here's where you come in. They got that stuff all locked up and guarded in an old vault somewhere in the bank above us. So I'm gonna need you to bust into that bank, get that vault open, and get me that feltrite. You understand what I need? Here's what you do. You can get to a passageway into the bank if you go through the old subway offices just around the back. Here, take this key. It'll get you into the old management office. Then just go straight on through and up. Stop wasting my time and get me those feltrite canisters. 